Hello everyone, Ms. Sarg here. So today's, you know, question, interview question is that uh, what exactly is exception handling in Python? What is try except exception handling in Python? So, uh, you know, there are certain times that, uh, you know, when you write, let's say, a certain lines of code, and uh, if one of the lines of the code is having some error, then none of the lines which has been written below that particular line gets executed. And in that case, what happens, we, the, the, the code gets broken in that point of time, and, uh, you know, you don't get anything after that. So uh, this becomes a challenge. So we require something which prevents this kind of breaking down of code just because one line of code is giving you one error. So for that, the concept of try except has come into the existence. So, uh, you know, just uh, let me uh, define something for you. So in the previous, uh, you know, the video I have defined about the iterators that what exactly is iterators. So if I just quickly revise it, so if I say that, let's say I'm creating uh, my list and I'm giving it some numbers, let's say one, two, three, four, like this. And now if I just uh, say iter, so basically I'm converting this iterable into the iterator object. And I say my iter stands for, I'm just giving, just giving a name, random name, so that it is a iterator object my iterator object. Now you know that in iterator object, you can use this keyword, next keyword, and uh, you know, you can just put this inside of it. And if you just run this, one by one, each and every element is going to get iterated. You know this, right? So when you say next, 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 each and every element is going to get iterated. And when every item has been iterated, once you reached at the last item, and again, if you say next, you are going to get an error. And let's say there are cert certain things which has been written after this uh, particular thing. Nothing will work because, you know, you get an error and your code is no longer running the things which is which has been written below to it. So in these kind of situations, we do use try except block. Let's say, how do we do it? Let's say I say try and uh, what I'm going to say that uh, just use my print functionality basically and inside of it, I'll put this next of my IT here and uh, I say except, except print end of iteration okay now let me just reinitialize this thing again it means i'm going to con uh, you know create a new iterator object my itr has been reinitialized again with the iterator object now you same thing you can see i have used the next keyword for my my itr in the try block and i said that you need to run this execute this basically if it is not giving any error so it is going to execute it again and again and again unless until it's not giving an error the moment it gives you an error it comes directly to the accept block and this code is going to get, get executed so if i run this first the next has been used to you know um, iterate one of the first element and you got one again if i say next two, next three, next four. And again, we are at the last element. If I say again, now you see, we are not getting an error, but we are getting a print statement saying end of iteration, right? Similarly, let's say, let's say, um, you are supposed to take a certain input from the user. So you know this, we use the input function to get the input from the user. I say, please, please enter, oops, spelling back, please enter a number. And, uh, you know, when it gives the number, like, like, let's say 23, you can simply get your number three and number 23, and you can print it, you can see it, 23 has been printed. 
uh, let's say if you run it again, and this time, this time, um, let's say it gives you some essay, like any string kind of thing. If I run this, what will happen? It will give you an error. Why? Because the moment this string has been inputted over here, it tries to convert this into an integer. And you know that strings, uh, if something which cannot be, strings cannot be converted into integer, right? And uh, what essentially happens, let's say if we try to write something which is just below this code, let's say print, hello world, right? And if I run this again, and let's say this time, I'm asking for a number from the user, but that guy is giving us, let's say, my name, no, sir. If I run this, what will happen? It will give this particular line is giving me an error and the code is getting broken at that point of time itself. That's why this print hello world, which has been written just below this line is not getting executed. And because of the error, everything is going for the pass. So in order to save these kind of things, what do we do? We use try and accept block. So if I simply take a try block and put this thing inside and over here, if I say accept exception as E, oops, my bad, exception, exception as E, print E, run this. Now, if you are putting 23, a number, that's well and good. It's going to take that number and we have this print hello world and this hello world is getting printed. Let's say if we are asking for a number, but that guy is giving some sort of, uh, let's say some name, let's say Reynolds. And if it is going to press enter, what is going to happen that because we cannot change this string into an integer, it will throw you an error and this except exception as E and we are saying print E means whatever the error message that you are getting, please print it. So the error message has got printed over here. And then this line of code print hello world is again getting executed. So means though we have got some sort of error that the lines which has been written below that particular line is not going to get affected and the code is going to run even after we are getting an error. So see. What is the use of try and accept block? This is called as exception handling in Python. Okay. Thank you.